The internet, one of the greatest tools of the digital age. It is so ingrained in our society that our identities, once defined purely by our distinctive qualities, have changed to accommodate it. Where once we sought definition within a group of people, time constraints and pressures have caused college students to turn to cyberspace in order to express themselves. However, in presenting ourselves in flimsy bits of code instead of flesh and blood, we are tempted to portray not ourselves, but idealized versions of ourselves. Where once societies were governed by the physical, we are now governed by ephemeral code. This has destroyed the traditional view of a truthful anthropology, a physical anthropology, and has created a painted anthropology. The use of social networking sites such as Facebook has allowed the new generation, the generation of the digital age, to present themselves however they see fit. We can alter any part of ourselves that we present to the public, often making ourselves seem more popular or exciting than we really are. Yet, few realize the danger in such an approach. Over 7.5 million college students log on daily to Facebook alone. While they may not realize it, these millions of aspiring students are being watched, for as our society has progressed, so has our surveillance. Whereas we once had Michael Foucault's panopticon, we now have an invisible panopticon that monitors our digital lives as effectively as our real ones. However, as bits of code, we lose our humanity and are broken down to the most basic principles, our news feeds, our preferences, our pictures, devoid of personality or explanation. Over 20% of the prospective employers of college students now regularly check the Facebooks of their employees. How good will that shot of you drunk look when it costs you a job? Will your professed religious views clash with your co-workers? With so much on display, can we afford to display anything at all? As open as the online community has become, we are becoming more and more aware that our activities are monitored, whether by friends, employers, or government agencies. And as technology progresses, we are monitored at younger and younger ages. Kindercam, for example, monitors kindergarten children without their consent, at the whim of their parents. How far do we have to go before we reach a point where everything is shown, yet everything is hidden for fear of the consequences? Facebook is watching you.